Guess it helps to have the mic down, huh? Uh, howdy, traders. Welcome to the Trader Daily Open. Today is episode 32, um, June 3rd, 2022. Trading is dangerous. Past performance is not indicative of future results. The purpose of this update, update Trader Daily Open is to take a look at how the market has opened and then identify potential significant areas above and below price. Um, first of all, we'll look at the Forex, the economic calendar, Forex factory. And we had unemployment stuff come out. And that's what we had 390,000 jobs added. And we have another PMI right now coming out. And then we have an ISM at the top of the hour, and then we have some more speakies at the bottom of the hour. So that's what's going on with that. In the overall markets, ES is down 1.4, Russell's down 1.2, NASDAQ's down 2.2, so everyone is leaning short. And taking a look at the daily, again, we identify this guy as a potential turn bar. We had a little move down, did not reach this area of significance. It did hit this guy and bounced. And now we're in this consolidation right here. And so it's a leaning on the tricky side however finding a reason to get sh short probably isn't too dumb of a move here but we'll see um on the rth we opened lower and a gap and from that gap We almost filled it. It's still open. A little bit there is to a little gap. It tried to close it and now it went down. And so that's that scenario. Uh, areas of significance if you're short, uh, 11, you know, 13. And then comes 97. Followed by yesterday's low, which is 70. And the biggie after that would be down here at 4,000 ish. <clears throat> uh, on the upside, we would have 4,127, followed by 4,144, followed by 4,179, and then, which is. 4186. So those are the probable potential areas of significance. On the 50,000 tick chart, we had this nice impulse up yesterday, and it's been answered so far with a nice retracement impulse back down. Um, so we'll see what that does. The bubble nets, this is it's, uh, ripping right through this bubble net. Um, uh, this cluster of bubble nets. So this would be an interesting area that 97, which I, we just identified before. Okay. On the, what's happened since trading has opened today. And it's just been a impulse grind down. And our intraday bubble net has shifted down and we'll see what happens so things are looking downward at the moment and we'll see if that continues so it's been a good week hopefully you guys had a good week here and it's friday so don't do anything overly 
dumb that will frustrate you and make you have a crappy weekend, uh, you know, keep your head on your shoulder. If you would like to uh, learn simple, repeatable, non-controversial techniques to help you become a successful trader, send me an email, david at remora.academy. Uh, if you would like to learn how to trade with low energy and uh, have it so that trading, quote unquote, becomes boring, wouldn't that be something? I know a lot, most traders I come across, they're not in it because they want to be bored. They want it. They want stimulation and excitement and that's not a good place to be operating from so you all have a wonderful weekend and thank you for your time and we'll catch you next monday ciao